since then we know what it is to fear the Lord. We try to persuade others what is plain, what we are is plain to God, and I hope it is also plain to your conscience. We are not trying to condemn ourselves to you again, but we are giving you an opportunity to take pride in us so that you can answer those who take pride in what they see rather than in what is in the heart. If we are out of our mind, then some say it is for God. If we are out, out of our mind, it is for you. For Christ compels us because we are convinced that he, that one died, convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but live for him who died for them as was raised again. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view, though we once regarded Christ in this way. So we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone in Christ and the new creation has come, the old has gone. The new is here. Although all this is from God who reconciled us from to himself through Christ and gave us a ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he was committed to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we therefore, Christ's ambassadors, as God, we were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And uh, that reading is uh, from Corinthians. Um, as you know, we're in the midst of um, a pandemic, and really, we can't um, just freely go out. It's like usually um, on Palm Sunday, we have very many church celebrations and um, pews were filled but because of social distancing and other things we can, we just simply can't uh, do that without fear of infecting each other. You know there have been some some measures. People have said, "Well, we need to we need to have face masks and we need to have protective gear so that we can go out in public." Um, there's arguments for and against that. Um, something that we really don't need to discuss at this time. But what I would like to actually point out is. The face masks that are needed are needed by 
the medical professionals who are actually caring for those who are sick. If we were in a wartime where soldiers were fighting against the the enemy, we would provide them with make sure they were provided with whatever equipment needed in order to put up a good fight against the enemy. So why are we not putting that same trend of thought to our medical professionals who are actually the soldiers in this case putting up a battle against a virus that is killing us as a species? We should be ensuring that they have the proper protective gear and those who may be infected with it, they also have gear so that they don't infect others to ensure that they know that they're not going to hurt someone by coughing, sneezing, or, or touching someone. So, we're, we need to spread the, spread these masks, these gloves, the gowns and drapes and everything that are needed around the world so that it can be shared by every medical professional across the globe, around the world. So, I ask this question, why is it that one of the main manufacturers of such equipment a corporation that exists in the United States is told by the president that they may not ship life-saving equipment. Why is it that they were not only told, but they were hit with a defense order. They, I'm sure, brings fines and consequences and all kinds of other legal things to go along with it. When this president knew that they were shipping these things around the world because these doctors and nurses, caregivers, need the masks, they need the gloves, they need the respirators and the ventilators to save lives. What was he what was this president thinking? Was he just simply acting out of fear or was he acting how it it doesn't seem to make sense that he should be wanting to share cuz he he talks about how he should we all should pray he's at the Uh, National Prayer Convention talking about the importance of prayer. But if he would have prayed and asked for the right answer to open his heart, he might have seen that in order to truly combat this virus, He needs to ensure global shipments. He needs to ensure that the equipment gets into the hands of those people who desperately need it so that they can continue treating them. They need protection from the virus so that they can treat the patients who of those and those who are sick. So If you're listening and you 
of course, are in the United States or in North America, there might be a way of ensuring that this equipment gets shipped. Maybe by simply purchasing some and finding a hospital outside of the United States and shipping it to that hospital so that these doctors, all the doctors around the globe need to have these these masks. Every, every person who is caring for other people at this point need to have the masks and the gloves at least. And maybe if we protest loud enough, try shipping this stuff around the globe ourselves to help this other corporation who manufactures this equipment to help them get around this order, maybe the president will see things in a slightly different light. Stuff to say. Anyway, so we need to 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 help those who are sick and those who who is simply during this time can't get out because they're at risk. The whole whole message behind. There's a message behind this virus. It is put here for us to combat for a reason. And that maybe that reason is is for us all to come together and truly communicate as a globe. And maybe not pay so much attention to all those national borders. Maybe this is the message behind it. That we need to act together as a global community to knock this virus down and we'll learn how important it is to be a global community to communicate and be able to move freely around our planet that it is the beautiful planet that we have that has been given to us so let us pray on that Lord, help us find a way to combat this virus and bring the number of sick people back down so that our medical professionals and our scientists can actually help treat them, make them better. Help us be able to Find a way to ensure that the proper equipment gets to the people who actually need to be able to use it so that everyone can live healthy lives. We pray that you guide our our global leadership to the answers that will help save the multitude of people. We pray that you help our medical professionals ensure that in our in our supply lines so that people get the right equipment and they get the right food and nutrients so that they can we can all go back to living our our healthy happy ways again. Help us to learn the lesson of global communication in a way that is compassionate and loving towards each other. Help us to see that love is the true answer to being able to work together so that we can solve problems, so that we can explore so that we can find the answers that we need to know how our universe truly works. All right. Thank you, Lord, for uh, for bringing us all together to listen to this show at this time. And thank you, everyone, for listening, and amen. <laughs>